Hello there, my name is Lys, and today we're having a look at one of the new tools available inside of ZBrush 2021.7 called the Knife Brush. It's essentially a new alternative to the trim and clip brushes, and I use those constantly. Uh, it's a tool that allows you to chop off big chunks of the model. And I use it in the early phases of sculpting, going around the model and carving out the silhouette as you would in traditional sculpting. You can find it in your brush menu under the knife curve and knife lasso. Unlike sculpting brushes, this takes the place of your selection brush. So you can activate and use it holding control and shift. While holding control and shift, your brush palette changes. So you can also select it from there and you can also change back to the selection brushes. And here's a quick tip. You can toggle between your knife brush or any cutting brush and the rectangle selection tool at any time. Hold control shift and click with your mouse and without letting go of the mouse, tapping on control and shift will toggle between the two modes. Okay, so let's have a look at how this works. The knife brush is going to remove everything that's on the side of the gradient, close the hole and give you usable geometry. Since it's deleting and creating geometry, it can't work with subdivision levels. You can work around this by freezing your subdivision levels, but the results are uncertain. If you have to use subdivision levels, then use the clip brushes instead. To use the brush, you hold Ctrl and Shift and start dragging your mouse. You can let go of Ctrl and Shift as long as you don't let go of the mouse. You can hold the space bar to reposition your line anywhere you want or hold Shift if you want to snap the line at an angle. If you tap Alt, you're going to create an anchor point for a curve. It's like bending metal around a pole, and that pole is where you pressed Alt. It's hard to describe, but you get a feel for it the more you use it. And of course, you can create multiple points to create a complex curve. And if you want to make sharp angles, then simply double tap on Alt. And you can mix and match to make the curve that you want. A little heads up, the brush expects you to go beyond the boundaries of your model to work. You must look beyond. If you stop your cut inside the, your model, it's going to make a cut but not remove anything. So if it's not working like intended, it might be why. Um, this new brush creates nice, predictable working geometry, works with symmetry and creates new polygroups. It's a great slicing tool but it also has an alternative mode that is very useful. So let's check that out now. Hold Control, Shift and Space to show the option menu for the tool. There, pick B Radius. Now, when you use the knife tool, it's going to give you a slice of the model in the shape of your curve, but with the thickness of your brush. So you can adjust the size of your brush to set the thickness of your slice. But there's more. You can also press Alt before letting go of the mouse to make an alternate cut. Now, instead of leaving you with a slice that's the thickness of your brush, you can cut in a slice that is as thick as your brush. All of this is going to make it even faster to do some things and combined with all the other tools, it's going to make complex modeling a lot simpler. And that's going to wrap things up for me and I'll see you in the next video.